vocal defragging. It's an opportunity to be heard, to let your inner core hear your voice. You know what? Here's the thing about vocal defragging. You can think a thought all day, and all it is is something you're just going to pass along and give away to something that you don't even know belongs. It's a tough thing, this thing called thinking, especially when you don't use your words. But a vocal defrag is you're physically listening to the pitch, volume, and tone. I also do a defrag journal, handwriting. I've been doing this journal since November of 2017. It's physically putting my hands on a living tree that has sacrificed its life to give me paper. Paper that asks the questions and then questions the answers. And the greatest thing about it is you lay your hands on that page and you can feel the depth of thought. It's not just ink on a page. It's your body in motion. This is Vocal Defrag. Very big subject today. One of the things that came to me while writing today is based on that we have all gone through so much. This decade, the last decade, this generation, and beyond. We've all gone through so much. And many of us, we feel invisible. To which I ask, what do you see in the mirror? A mirage or a memory? I'm asking you that question. When you look into a mirror, what do you see? I'd like to invite you to see yourself. Because that self has an imprint on this present day. That self can't run and hide in other places where there is no reflection. Some people think that my writing is a place of hiding. I don't use my voice. No, that's not true. That's not true at all. Because I host 14 different podcasts. I do use this voice. How is it that we can get you from a thought to a vocal activator? To somebody who doesn't share their opinion, but the facts. So I ask you that question. If you think you're invisible inside this world because of everything that has taken place and will take place, what do you see in the mirror? What do you hear inside your head? And if you're not being vocal, it's just a thought. And thoughts don't really exist. They do, but out here, they don't. It's just something that's passing through you. So learning how to activate what it is and how it is that you think puts that image in the mirror. Learning how to be present outside as well as inside. And that's the reason why defragging is so important. Because who you are on the inside is so different than the outside. I've been quoted to say that the reason why I miss out on a lot of conversations is because I have so many voices in my head that it's too noisy to hear those on the outside. So I've taken it upon myself to become a better listener, to calm down the invisible voices in my head. When you look at yourself in the mirror during these crazy times in history, which will continue, what do you see? Is it a mirage or is it a memory? What would it physically take to see yourself as you are, as you would like to become, being present in your moment of now, not exposing your emotions, but listening to your emotions? It's all right here. But if I were to come back to this path in this forest 10 minutes from now, I wouldn't be the same person because we continuously evolve and change. And even though we try to fight that change and step free of anything that's getting in the way, what we need to do is we need to see ourselves in that mirror. Do you talk to yourself in the mirror? Lord knows I do. All my life. I have books that I have written where the characters in my book, most of them talk to themselves in the mirror. It has been such a major part. It has nothing to do with conceit. It's your identity. It's you. It's your imprint. It's factual. So much stuff has happened to the world. Many of us feel invisible. What do you see in the mirror? Is it a mirage 
scars in a memory. Make it you. Ask yourself the question, question the answers. It's called vocal defragging. I'm Errol.